While relatively clean natural gas has been fighting new regulations by an anti-fossil fuel administration, the gap is being filled by a far dirtier fossil fuel known as coal. Jeff Locke is at the former Delaware Generating Station in Philadelphia. It seems they had cross purposes here, right? Some people said even, I told you so, but that's the way it goes. Yeah, a coal is back big time. This was at one time home, this plant behind me, to the largest electric turbine in the world, now being converted to condos. One of hundreds of plants that have been shut, coal-fired plants in the U.S., but don't look now, coal is back. Look at these numbers out of Europe, David. Because of the high price of natural gas and the reliance on Russian natural gas, coal in Europe increased 51% in terms of the amount burned for electricity last week alone. Uh, prices driven up too. Take a look at these numbers. Uh, uh, third quarter of last year, $95 a ton for coal. Pre-invasion doubled to $186 a ton. Last week it got as high as $462 a ton. Yeah, the world needs coal. And you talk about Europe and its reliance on natural gas from Russia and oil from Russia. It even relies more heavily on Russia for its coal shipments. 47% of EU coal last year came from Russia. We talked to the folks at the National Mining uh, Association here in the U.S. They say coal miners want to do more. And this whole shutdown of coal plants was a little bit ahead of themselves. Listen. Turning off well, well functioning coal plants is like uh, selling your house and uh, moving into one that has not been built yet. And that's sort of where we are with the European electricity markets and here in the United States. This needs to be done thoughtfully and carefully over time. They emphasize, David, that uh, U.S. coal producers can do more in terms of helping Europe. If you look at these numbers, I'll leave you with this. Uh, in 2012, the record year for U.S. coal exports, 126 million tons exported that year. In 2020, it was down to 69 million tons. Miners say they can do more to help this energy crunch that is now worldwide. U.S. has more coal reserves, worth noting, than any other country in the world still. Yeah, in the name of, of, of a clean atmosphere, our atmosphere is getting dirtier because of coal. It just doesn't make any sense. Jeff, thank you very much.